we're back. Yes, we are. We're back, and we're back today with something non-chilly. We are. And we're, we're a couple of days late, because, well, I say a couple of days late, we're probably good, almost two weeks late um, from St David's Day, but we are bringing you another product from Wales. Bit of a pickle. Yes. Irina Lajewski. Lovely Ray. Lovely bit. Wonderful Ray. Who's given me a very good bit of news today. Um, she very kindly, when she was passing uh, a camping store, uh, popped in and managed to find something I've been looking for for months. This is the happiest day of your life in 2021 so far, isn't it? It is, yeah. So we're going to celebrate by having lamb for dinner tomorrow. We are, we are. Uh, Welsh lamb. Welsh well. lamb, in fact. Yeah, so is. what better to go with our Welsh lamb than a God Welsh mint, mint jelly? Yeah. <laughs> and I am a huge mint jelly lover. You had a go at making some, didn't you, last year? Yeah. Um, and I was eating about half a jar per meal. It was it was Reaper and Maruga Scorpion mint, mint jelly. jelly. And it was really very good. This is not containing any chilli, so no. it is a non-chilli product. However, uh, the very talented Ray, who is the, the queen of pickles and chutneys and jams and things like that, uh, has made this, and I have been absolutely gagging to try it for some time. Uh, she does do chilli stuff as well, so if you pop over to a bit of a pickle dot com link down there, mm -hmm. um, you'll be able to uh, find her evil chilli chutney, her tanny drag, um, and I, I think she's probably still got some in stock, but the uh, tanny drag triple X, um, which is Reaper. Oh, she's, yeah. got, she's got a few other other uh, chili products and yeah. stuff on there as well but uh the ahi lemon mer uh, uh, curd curd uh, yeah uh, one of my faves one of my absolute faves i don't think i'll ever buy another lemon curd again i'll definitely have that so yeah so she does do chili stuff as well okay but she's got an amazing range of pickles um you know chutneys there's marmalades there's jams there's curds there's, if it comes in a jar she probably makes it so, yeah, be sure to go check that out. Yep, but, uh, yeah, because we're having lamb tomorrow for lunch. Like, I want to do the mint jelly. Mint jelly. Um, just an aside, she'll put mint jelly into chicken stew. And beef stew. Into beef stew. Into, she'll put mint jelly pretty much with anything. Because it is her... Go to. It's my it's my go to favourite non chili condiment. Mm. So I'm I'm super excited. So ingredients wise, we have apple, water, vinegar, sugar, mint, and pectin. And uh, this is some hand chopped mint. I'm going to have to entertain you with well. um, interpretive dance now because I was going to do that while you were having a smell. Well, you yeah. no, you see. <laughs> so yeah, have a sniff of that. Oh, that's lovely. Get the mint, you get the apple. Mm. You've got that hit of the vinegar there as well, so you know it's going to have a little bit of... A little bit of uh, acidic tartness yeah, to it. Yeah, so it's not yeah. going to be like a super, super sweet sickly jelly. This is going to have almost it's like a little bit of like a, a mint sauce in jelly form, but sweeter. And that colour as well. So that's all the uh, the apple and everything like that in there. And the mint. As the well, there's chop, uh, hand chopped mint in there. Um, yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. just done that for the mint. I don't think that's how it works, Dan. Well, it's hand chopping. No, that's just you being special. Moving on. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the uh, the mint jelly. We will, of course, be tasting this because don't. You mean jelly, bro? With the take, uh, chase the heat hot sauce tasting spoons. Beautiful, beautiful tasting spoons. Yeah, mother of pearl. And uh, Ray, be of course, being mother of dragons. She is. Yeah. She is. But uh, we're also going to be obviously serving up with a 
non-spoon, so when I have to go back several times um, to prove to myself how good it is. And well, get on with it. Reiterate how you, good it is. I I'm sad about you, and I know you she will be, because mint that's jelly. That's a beautiful set on it. Mm. Just That's just straight out the jar. And that is just an absolute perfect jelly set. It's got like, it's soft. And it's one of those ones that you know, sort of the minute it hits your mouth, it's going to go liquid. It's, it's soft. It's also a bigger portion than the spoon should hold. <laughs> need to be made bigger don't they uh, or I need two spoons yeah but you can see I don't know if you can see it in there I can, I can see it I can see it now like you know 12 months from now we'll be pulling out the uh, Johnny Scoville tasting label yeah taste, <laughs> chase the heat tasting shovel um so beautiful flex in there that you can see if we bit of a pickle.com this is their garden mint jelly bring it on baby That's so silky. That is a beautiful consistency. It, it does just melt very slowly in your mouth, but it's it's there that you can. You, it's not like doingy rubbery jelly. No. It's a, just a beautiful soft jelly. And you get the apple and the mint and the sweetness, but you just get that that slight sourness that comes through that. You know the the, uh, the acidity from the vinegar. Oh my god! Sorry, I'm I'm loving this. I'm I'm needing needing more. It's a first for me to think of mint jelly as a jelly, but it have a texture. Yeah. Okay, so you've got the the jelly element to it, mm. which is sweet. Uh, Obviously infused with uh, the mint tea mm. that you, you know, make mint jelly with. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you boil up the mint, you know, chop, chop the mint up, break it, rough it up a bit, get the oils out, boil it up. You make your mint tea, and then you mix in the sugar, the pectin, and uh, obviously the hand chopped mint uh, and then you let it set and because you mixed in that hand chopped mint it's got a texture to it and that really complements it and the minty taste oh well wow. it's, it's really fresh mm. isn't it really good so you've got that lovely and you've got that underlying kind of like the the apple Mm. That sits along with it so well that just you know again you've got I think apples have pectin in them as well don't they so that I would do. help with some yeah. of the um, the set on there but you've just got a lovely flavour so it's not a an appley flavour it's definitely a mint flavour but you've got some of that the sort of the sweet and tartness that you get from apples that comes into the jelly as well but that's gorgeous and let me tell you that at the moment on the website. Two pound. Worth so much more than two that. Two quid. That's all. So you have no reason at all not to get over there um, and start picking up some of these products because they're obviously they're really, really good. Mm -hmm. So a bit of a pickle.com, johnnyscoville.com, links in the description down there. No heat rating because no chilli. Um, but it's a really, 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 really good mint jelly. I'm, I'm looking forward to really, really. putting that all over my lamb tomorrow. Um, I'm putting, looking forward to putting it into the lamb stew that we're going to make with the leftover lamb tomorrow. Right about here is our logo. Click it if you're not subscribed, and you will be. YouTube magic. Up here is a video YouTube wants you to watch. Obey the mighty YouTube. <laughs>
But I think that's quite enough from us for now. It is indeed. So thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one.